throw her your Duval, best life, biggest song in the country. That's how we start the interview? Yeah, we got to go on here and do it like that. Now, now, now right on that. Uh, yeah, but best song in the country and whatnot. And four years and, well, I mean, I'm sorry, four weeks uh, in a row, number one on Billboard. Uh-huh. Um, you as a comedian, man. People know you as a comedian. People know you as an entertainer. And now is you a pop star. You a fucking so. pop star. I guess so, man. It, what does that even mean to you? Because mm -hmm. I know where you came from, but how do you feel right now? What does it mean? Yeah, what does that even mean to you when people say that? Honestly, yeah, that's the same. Honestly, it don't mean nothing to me, but I see what it means to them when I see it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn, this means a lot now. But when you've been doing some of the same thing for so long, and then I guess now it's just I get recognition for it now, because I've been doing the same thing, you know. Yeah. So now it's just like, oh, they see it now. Mm -hmm. But I guess I was so scorned, but I'm not seeing it. I was cool with it. Like, all right, they don't get it, but I'm still... You, you were definitely a scorned woman, because it's inside <laughs> your uh, bio. It says that you won't appreciate this until I'm dead. Yeah. Now, when you say that, it, it's a lot of pain inside of it. That wasn't pain. That, that was that just was understanding, because from what I... You, you understand your pain. That's all it is. I didn't think I was, it wasn't pain, it's just understanding. When I read it, I felt like that brother's hurt. No, you was in pain. I wasn't in pain. You know, put your, how you took it and how I took it, how I took it. Or oh, how I was saying it was more so like, from what I've seen before, people don't recognize people till they go. So I'm like, well, maybe that's what it is. They, they recognize when they go, and which is cool with me. Which one's cool with me. It's, it's so inside that, 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 that same, inside that same bio, when you say, you, you like really appreciate me when I'm dead. I feel like I want you to appreciate. I really remember when I'm gone, and now, because now it's, we don't remember stuff too much now. We remember stuff when you're gone. Like, I'm cool with you remember me when I'm gone. Just like how we remember the Statue of Liberty mm -hmm. and all this, it's still here hundreds of years later. Mm -hmm. I want to be remembered when I'm gone. So I'm cool with you remember when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I want to be forgotten about. That's what I'll be forgotten about. So, you, you, yeah, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, there's people with way more success, way more money that, that's forgotten about. Mm -hmm. So, but. You gotta get here. So here you, you can remember for them. Mm, mm, I can dig that. Alright, so with, with that being said, like inside the uh, same conversation, when people all, they always say when people die, man, why you didn't give them the roses while they was here? Oh, Dude, cool. Are you that nigga too? When you, you no, know? but that's, that's, that goes back to what I said before. It's like, people say you should give the roses while they're here, but you know me. I'm pretty confident in who I am and what I am, so I don't need nobody telling me. I'm the shit. Mm. So you don't have to give me the roses. I'm cool with if you give me the roses. Mm. But I've had the roses so long, I don't really live for the roses. Mm. I live for later. Mm. So later, you know, don't give me the roses. I want you to give me my roses. I want you to come to my, my, my grave and put the roses on my thing later on. Because that means you, you kept remembering me. That means I meant a lot to you. Mm. Ooh, that was deep. That was, that was a lie. That, that was a lie I came from. That, that was definitely a lie. <laughs> That was definitely all right. All right, so um, let's talk about comedy. Uh -huh. Comedy, man. Like, how do you feel about comedy in this particular climate? Where all the new niggas, how do you, you say that a lot of these people are your son? Mm -hmm. I like what comedy is going on. If I didn't like what comedy is going on, that means I don't like my sons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like where it's going. It's evolved. Just like music has evolved. Music hasn't stopped going, it just transitioned into something else. Like, Do you feel like it ain't oversaturated? Because a lot of comedians say it's oversaturated now. But you feel like it ain't oversaturated because you're what ain't successful. What ain't oversaturated? Everything's oversaturated. That's what happens. That's what happens with everything. It's just like something as simple as an uh, analogy is like Scott Perotti or pre-check pre TSA. When it first started, you can walk right through. Once everybody started knowing about it, now that line longer than the regular line. Mm. So it's everything. Everything does that. That's what happens when stuff get popular. Same thing happened with, with comedy and the internet and music and everything else. Now everybody rapping. We was just talking about I see more girls rapping now. Mm. You know, it's normal to see a girl rapping now. That's what it's about. I don't think it is. I think it's always they always been rapping, just nobody didn't give a fuck because no, 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 Instagram no. It Instagram, it media. Go, it's a new rapper every day, a new woman rapper mm -hmm. every day on my explore page, and they actually all kind of weird. Mm -hmm. 
you know, before they were just trying out because a dude put them in the studio mm -hmm. and they was just rapping. Now these motherfuckers, right, right. Mm -hmm. they got stories and they're good at it because they can express when they feel them. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the only people with men do it, but mostly R&B men do it because they, they can express like that for the average. We don't express as good as they do. That's why they're better at it, I think. Mm -hmm. They're going to be, once they, like, they, they taking over, I think, music, like uh, hip-hop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> do you have a did did you do, when, when did the whole rapping for you start rapping and then it's music and did you have a different did you have a rap name your, do you remember what your first rap name was no I just did me I just like rap I just like music I've always liked music and I've always done it I just did it because I knew how to do it and I just did it for fun did you feel like you still had it or you were just for fun um I should ask you, when you see me back then, what, did it look like I gave a fuck when I was doing music or I just was doing You know, I don't even front. It used to piss me off because you... <laughs> Everything's coming now. <laughs> it, 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 it was good and, <laughs> and I couldn't do it. And I had to, I had to, it was just so, I couldn't do it. I couldn't grab it. You, you just a naturally talented dude with everything that you. It's do. hard to explain to people how naturally shit come to me. I don't do that much thing. That's yeah. why I hate when people ask me certain things. But I don't put that much thought on stuff. If I can do it, I can do it. If I can't, I don't do it no more. Mm -hmm. The same thing with my stand up. I try a joke out. If it don't work, I don't do it no more. You, right? just, you know, I'm done. not, I'm not that guy. I, to me, it gotta come easy. If it don't come easy to me, I ain't. I ain't, I ain't trying. Mm. <laughs> Do you feel like this is a different kind of thing that you have now? Yeah. You know? and, and what's the difference? The difference now is people, people look at me different. Like, hold on. Now, when you say that, I, I remember the first time I realized you was famous. I had, well, it was at, it was at Uptown Comedy Club, and, uh, I had I went on stage and I bombed because I had my shirt button unbuttoned. <laughs> and then you went up and as soon as niggas said your name, like the bitches were screaming, all the rappers was fucking with you. It was completely the opposite of what happened different. to me. Yeah. And, and, and How I, long ago was it? This was fucking 2000. 20 years ago? Yeah, this, this was some shit like that. I'm talking about every, everybody that's somebody that's supposed to be somebody now. It was in there. I'm talking about T.I., Ludacris, always. I've always no, no, it was uh, hosting. I've always knew I had something more than everybody else. And stuff like that c confirmed it. So, I guess, like I said, I don't do nothing that don't seem like it ain't funny. So, when I, I, I knew that off top. Everything that I'm, like, the superstardom now that they saying, in my mind, I've always had it. Mm -hmm. Even, like, when you say... When I walked out on stage 19 years ago, I was still getting that scream. It might not have been the scream that I'm getting now. I was still getting that scream. So n back then, I was already famous in my mind. In a lot of people's minds. And yeah. it wasn't on social media. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I've always had the attention. So, so now when I get it, it's just like I've always had this. But now, it's, and I don't, I don't, I don't not appreciate it because I, I see now they get it, but you know the the recognition don't do nothing for me. I guess the love, I guess. Man, what's the difference between you then and you now? Shit. What, what's the what is the difference? I guess I, I was an asshole by mistake. I didn't realize how much of an asshole I was. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but why'd you stick around? Because I had nothing else better going on in my life. Nothing else. Don't you come I out and talk about this was saving time. Lil Duval. I don't want yeah, you to survive Lil Duval. Surviving Lil Duval. Oh, yeah, I feel like you're going to be a bunch of niggas come out talking about, man, he did this, he did that. Lil Duval used to keep me in the basement. I was in the basement with him, though. And he, Lil Duval used to let me drive his car. And whatnot, we go on long road trips, and he thought he would fall asleep and trust us. Driving me around with one eye. Yeah, we went to Texas one time. On the road. I'm talking about, we, I had a van. I had a van, and this nigga, I used to let, this nigga was my driver. <laughs> this nigga can't see worth shit, but I got this nigga. I was stupid. And he, 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 and he, he fell asleep, and we woke up there. I don't know how God. That's 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 God. That's
Like yeah. stuff like that let me know God was looking out for me my whole life. I was trying to go the wrong way too, but I still got up there. Yeah. Because I was, I was secretly hating. And when I was going to make him, make us late for the down for the shit. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, things always work themselves out for you. Yeah, man. And, Even when I didn't see it, God, God made it right, right for me. So. Is there, what would you tell yourself 20 years ago about what you now? Is there anything that you would have like prepped yourself for? I would have said, you know what you mean. I would have said, you know what you mean. And the, the crazy part about it, you would have said it right back, nigga, I know. <laughs> you would have talked shit to you. Like, I knew all this. Like, even this now, I knew this was going to happen, but I think when I got old, I stopped giving a fuck about it. It's like, I knew what it was supposed to be, but after a while, it was just like, that's they loss. That's how I felt like, I'm, this everything I'm giving is really for the world, so if y'all don't get it now, that's y'all fuck. Hey, the, the that's fuck. How, that's, that's when I stopped feeling like around the end of, like, recent, like the last five years, I guess. And, and, and the, the crazy part about it, like, you have such a tremendous, uh, like, an amazing story. If if you was to do an unsung on your life, yeah, yeah. it don't never, it don't never look like it would, it was no like, <laughs> struggle. <laughs> no. It wasn't. <laughs> no. And then, when, when there was struggle, I didn't notice it. Like, even the stuff that I, that's, I look back now, like, damn, I can't, from there I did that, but, at the time, came, came from a Maserati to a Rose Rush. What? Well, I'm talking about even before that. Oh, like, okay. Or even, even. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm talking about just in general, just stuff that happened in life. And I'm like, man, I, I can see how somebody would would break down through all that. But I'm not wired like that. Mm. I take it how it come from me, I guess. Because I, I don't know. And this is new to me that they hear you say that. It's like when I was watching the new edition story, now you hear Ricky Bale talk about things that he had, that he was like completely oblivious to that happened about the Brown and somebody else. Like, what's some trials and tribulations that we would be like, God damn, maybe you went through that? I don't know. I have to be high and thinking about it. Like, remember that time? I don't dwell on negative shit. I never did. I programmed my mind to where I be forgetting stuff. Even people that fuck me over, I damn near forget them. Like, don't, people died, died that I fuck, I don't fuck with. Like, I just, that type of guy. That's the way I program myself, so I... He forget it. Or he, 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 he'll, he'll forget the shit. I forget the why I stopped. Past, he, oh, that's right, I'm fucking Yeah, but I don't know why I don't, don't fuck with But you trust it. Yeah, I trust, trust like, it. Nope. Because yeah, it's like cool. I had to stop fucking with them for a reason. Right, right. But I don't be re re remembering what they did. Yeah. Because I don't, to me, I think that's like a... A virus. If you keep that bottled up and keep thinking about it, you're gonna use it. Most people use it as motivation, but I think it works the opposite. It it, it makes you a, a, a villain. Hey, if somebody called me the other day, right, and they was like, "Hey, you think um you gonna know, do do all the give me some tickets to the show?" I was like, "No, <laughs> I don't. I know it don't fuck with you." <laughs> hey, was somebody well, you I know. Yeah, most definitely. It's always somebody you know. It's always somebody you know. And and, uh, I, and uh, I I um I thought it was just really unique that people, even if they didn't like you, they still had a, they still always had to come fuck with you. They, they had no. That's because they they don't they might don't fuck with me, but they fuck with my position. They don't really fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And I peep that. I compete. I I compete people vibes easy, especially when you don't have no want from them. Mm -hmm. So you can see what they want from you, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what this song did too. Uh, this this new wave of whatever you success. Uh -huh. I was already not needing nobody, so now the people that's trying to come at me with the bullshit, they come in slow motion. And I can see them coming, mm -hmm. and they don't even know I see them coming. So mm -hmm. yeah. it, when you had got your record deal, right? Like, like, what was? Did you already know what you was asking for? Or did you want it? Uh, no, nah, I was like, like let's, let's just put this song out and let's go. Did you give a fuck about the business? I really didn't give a fuck about the business, but I had people that did give a fuck about it. Mm -hmm. Like, I know what I ain't the best at, so I get people that is good at it to get the best business. Because I'm thinking more of the art, more so of uh, just the people than I am the business. So, if, but in this business, people take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So I have people. I have people like Queens and my lawyers and stuff. They make sure I get the best that I'm supposed to get. Mm -hmm. 
Do you feel like you reach that level where you just say anything on stage, or you, or you? Um, I can, but what you don't do? I don't. You don't flex that part. I don't like to have this amount of power. You gotta know how much power you have and how easy it is to influence people the right and the wrong way. Mm. And I know my power. I've always knew my power, but now it's magnified even more. So, so I can't say I will slip up every now and then because I'm human. But for the most part, if I think about it, I I, I would put more thought into what I say or how I want it. Because even when I say stuff, sometimes people just take it the wrong way. So now I know how to deliver it more to, for them to digest it. Mm -hmm. What's one of the biggest misconceptions about you? Because I've heard women you tell me. Um, I, I heard women say uh, some uh, 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 in a red side of comment that some women think that you were massaging a woman dies. My life shows, and I'm not. You can go by what you think, but if you, it's most of the number of women in my in my life and, and all in my family. And you know, none of them think nothing bad about me. So that you can you can say all you want to, but what actions have you? Anybody said that tell them to show them an action where I was misogynistic to a woman, or where I was. Now, 20 years from now, what was considered misogynistic wasn't was considered that down might be different. Uh -huh. You know, but. At, but now, like, I can, if I did at that time, I could say, yeah, my bad, I was fucked up, I was tripping, but I didn't know I was tripping. That's why I say a lot of stuff I didn't realize until later on, but anything I did never came from a malicious place, you know what I'm saying, like a, a tent to hurry, just like, it's just, it just was my, my mindset. Mm. A lot of it come from hip-hop, because mm. hip-hop, especially in the 90s, everything was like that. The bitches ain't shit, but the Yeah, trip. so, and... Unlike now, we was we learned a lot from hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, so hip hop raised a lot of us. Mm -hmm. And we didn't realize till we got older, like, all right, we was raised the wrong way. But with that being said, yeah. like uh when are you too old to be running the train? Shit, you, you could be young right now. You stupid to run the train after you get in charge. Mm -hmm. like you Somebody gonna record it. Nah, it's a charge, like you run the train. Well, right? running train is is that, that's new rape shit? You might want to stop saying it too on this. You might want to edit this for that. Just saying the word is. What train or rape? Right. <laughs> all right. All of it. All that's great. Okay, you yeah, edit all that out for your own sake. Don't be out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, so let, let's talk about the R. Kelly shit. That's the biggest thing going on right now. What is your view? I ain't heard you say it. Nothing about it yet. I make no, no post or anything. Because I see the big. I think it's a reflection of our society as a whole, which which we need to address. You say that all the time. And yeah, it's about different because everything is. You you are what you become. I mean, you become what you are, what you see. And a lot of stuff that we are, stuff that we was raised off of, what's, what was normalized at the time, or we or we pushed under the rug. But now that we grew as a community, as a people, we started to see a lot of stuff that's fucked up that we was raised on. So we in the, I guess we in the, the uh, therapeutic stage of our, mm. of our evolution. We cleansing. Yeah, we're cleansing. It's a purge going on. It's a purge going on, and everybody's, everybody's just like how we look at Trump. Everything we hate about Trump is something like us in us. I ain't even looking at it like that. You fucking right. It, it really is the the game all the way around cleaning itself up. It's cleaning itself up. It's just. We start to see the, the stuff we don't like, stuff we do like, and it's just evolving. And now he's like, oh yeah, that that is kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like like 20 years ago, you look at R. Kelly. When we was 20 years ago, we was 20. Mm -hmm. So you be like, man, that girl was tripping. Mm -hmm. She 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 loved She knew what she was doing. But now when you're 40, I'm 40 now, and I understand how easy it is to manipulate a young girl. You be like, man, this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Macho so, man, man, this savage. Yeah. And you just see how you can, not even just a young girl, anybody. That's young. Anybody young. Anybody that's, that's not, not even young. You can manipulate a 30 year old motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's. A 20 year old. Anybody that's just. Younger. No, not even young. Anybody that's what? just. What? If you let me say it and stop and shut the fuck up. I'm going to do this now. <laughs> anybody that's impressionable that's looking for something. That's like, kind of broad, man. That's anybody. You can do that to anybody. That's the whole point, which is wrong. Anybody, if I know I can take advantage of you and I'm doing it for that, that's wrong. 
is wrong. Like you're using this to benefit you. So it ain't a certain class of people. It ain't a certain class. All that it applies to everybody. He's using that for everything. He just he just used that to, to prey on young impressionable young people because they're the easiest one to target because they're looking for something. Mm -hmm. When you get old, it's kind of hard to finesse an older woman because they've been through the bullshit. But if you get them, you can get them good. Most definitely. You see what I'm saying? So, but that's still wrong mm -hmm. because your intent is for personal gain to do whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So all of us wrong. Now, Not just that, all that. If you just praying on somebody that you are young, that's wrong. Hey, so you, now you didn't see niggas like escape. I mean, he, he was on, on a tape where it looked like it was him. And he got off with that shit. Do you think that history can repeat itself and R. Kelly can come back with a gospel album and we'll all be stepping in the name of love again, saying happy people? No. Yeah. yeah. I think he came overseas. I don't know why he's still living. He would have been in this country. Because he can be a ass, he can be a fucked up person anywhere else but here. But I think now <laughs> it's true. You know, I've been all over the world and, and it's normal in certain places, mm -hmm. you know. I don't say it's right, but I think you're gonna get called like OJ on some simple shit. They're gonna use the old shit and you're gonna get ten years for speed. <laughs> <laughs> he really doesn't have to live in a bubble after this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It'll play out. One thing about it, life will play out of itself. Mm -hmm. You know. If you, you just gotta be the change you wanna see in life. Once you do all that, all that shit'll work out. It won't be no more. If you want if you want people to start praying on stuff, you gotta speak that in the life of everybody gotta do that, and it won't happen. Okay. That's it just takes time. Just like it took time for us to be like how we are now, it takes mm -hmm. time for us to get to that level. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel the pressure to, to like uh, no. put out another hit? No. Do you feel like the, the comedy is your backup plan? No. I mean, it ain't nothing I'm doing now that I wasn't been doing. Mm -hmm. just, it was the light on me now. Mm -hmm. You don't feel no pressure to say uh, you and this and all that shit. You won't be disappointed if it don't go do what they did. They What's gonna happen if I fly? You gonna still be on the road getting money and flying, flying. Nigga, it's, I'm good. Whatever happens, like anything after like this is beneficial for the people more so than me. So if we don't do something. That's y'all. We're good, man. Everything fucking It's like. I'm giving it